and it's time for us to turn the tables and make some cake in some mugs. Does that sound like it's something that's even possible, Adam? <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's try it. It could be a bit of an experiment. Alice, I'm going to get you to start off by making some melted butter for us, please. Oh, Pop that in the microwave. Okay, okay. As we do that, Adam, I'm going to yep. get you to combine all these ingredients together in the bowl. Sure. I'll tell you what they are in a tick. And Lily, if you can crack some eggs into that, I'll be stoked. We've got brown sugar. Yep. We've got some sultanas. <laughs> and we've got self-raising flour and cinnamon which are all great ingredients for baking. Lovely. So stir that up for me, please. we we'll get some vanilla essence in there as well. These are our... No, ooh, not in there. Oh, close one. These are all our wet ingredients. So adding that in there. There we go. Fantastic. Cheers, Lily. So we've got the two eggs in there and some vanilla essence. Let's give that a nice stir as well. Now, Nick, this butter is ready to go. And Fantastic. I tested the bowl before touching it because things coming out of the microwave are always hotter than you expect. Fantastic. Let's pop that straight in there. Nice. Keep mixing that on through for us, please, Adam. Now, I actually know that carrot cake is Maurizio's favourite cake. Is that right, Maurizio? I thought you'd say that. In fact, you're my favourite clothes horse today, Maurizio. In fact, I'm just going to borrow that because we need a bit more flair in the kitchen as we're making some carrot cake in a cup. Now, we've got that going away. Alice is grating the carrot. And the key here is, of course, microwave safe is the key. Let's combine all these ingredients together now in the one bowl, in the Uno bowl. Any other in, uh, types of cakes that you'd like to try and make in cups, Adam? Um, cheesecake. Ooh. Cheesecake in a cup. That'd be a good one. Lily? Sponge cake. Ooh, sponge cake. That'd be delicious. Alice? Uh, maybe a mud cake. Mud cake. Are these Crunchy's favourite cups, Nick? Well, I hope not. They've been microwaves. Maybe they are. <laughs> Let's pop some of those ingredients in. Not all the way to the top, because it will rise. Got a mm. bit of self-raising flour there. So just spoon in the ingredients. They're so goopy. Very they are goopy. goopy. Yeah. It's a much runnier cake mix, Nick, than it is normally to go into a tray. Indeed. Well, really flour, I mean, they might look goopy nice. at the moment. But this is what they're going to come out of. Oh, so wow. let's finish putting them in, because we need to get on to decorating. Mm -hmm. Alice, if you can pop those in the microwave oven for us, that would be Certainly fantastic. Can. How long in the microwave for these, Nick? Three minutes, please. Oh, Lily, wonderful. you might need to give Alice a hand there as well, please. And as they're doing that, yes. guess what, Adam? What? It's time for us to make the icing. Yes. Excellent. And one more, Lily. Yep. Thank you. And I'll get you to get that cling wrap as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And we're just going to loosely put that cling wrap on top just to make sure it doesn't hold the mac. Perfect. Do you want to take that side? Like a little blanket. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Good work. All right. Fantastic. Whack those in for three minutes. We'll get ready on this. Icing now, so we've got some <laughs> icing sugar, some butter, and some cream cheese. Key with oh these ones, room temperature, so they're easy to mix in. Yeah. Let's it, go for it. Is it cream cheese icing? In, oh. Well, it is, yeah. Let's go. My favourite kind, is that your favourite, Lily? Yeah. Lily, help stir for me as well, pop those in. We've got two forks to yes. make it a little easier. We need to combine those ingredients to make our icing. Mm. And the great thing about this recipe, Nick, is we haven't had to use a food processor for anything, just a microwave. Yeah, just a microwave. It's easy and obviously it's quick. And as opposed to going for the good old claw there, let's try and mash in that butter a little bit more. Mm. There we go. That's nice. Good stuff, yes. <laughs> and it's a, fun, it's a pretty easy recipe to follow, Alice. Definitely. It's not wet. It's just floury. And mushy. Yeah. <laughs> And mushy, that's right. What do you think? Should we add more cream cheese? Let's yes. get a bit more cream cheese in there. All right. Ooh. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah. Probably as good as it will be. I think you've done a fantastic <laughs> job there. And you, all your hard work has delivered the goods. Look at what you've just oh. done there. Amazing. Wow. Well. <laughs> And we're in. And this is what we're going to try and do. Now, they're almost done, but yeah. the key is to just let them sit for a little bit yeah. because they can come out with some hot pockets, so you just need to let them sit. These are ones we popped out a little bit earlier ago. They've cooled down. Let's get decorating with some icing on top. Go for it. This is what we're aiming for. This is what we want it to look like. But just your own interpretation, your own Maurizio flair, if you please. Nice. Look at that. 
Really good. Maybe try it from a bit more of a height so you get that drizzled look. That's always good. Nice. And we can garnish with some um, walnuts as well on top once you're ready. But this one needs a bit more too. It has none, so I'm sure it needs some. Yes. Well said. I agree. Nice. And let's dance with some walnuts on top as well, please. And we've got all the steps on our website. Let's plate them up, show them off. Got to get our marks from the judges. <laughs> there we go. That is the final product. All the clues are on the website. You should jump on there and check it out. Yeah. Will you make this at home? Yeah, definitely. Really? I'll try. Yes, give it a whirl. You should give it a whirl too. We'll see you later. Yum. <laughs>